Hi, Hiram here. In my video Vulcan Safety Chef Camp Stove DIY uh, fuel can, this is it. I mentioned that I used a fake side cutting can opener instead of using my Dremel tool to cut the can down because I wasn't really worried about the height being exact. Since then I've had several people ask me what do I mean by a fake side cutting can opener. I can't get away with anything. But I thought instead of answering it a bunch of times I'd do a little video and try to answer it at one time. So let me start by uh, explaining a little bit about the three different kind of can openers. The regular can opener that you use in your house is the regular old-fashioned can opener. Cuts through the top of the lid. Let me draw that out. Hopefully you can see this. If you looked at a can like this, looking across, you have the lid, you have the seam on the side, and then the side of the can. Your regular old-fashioned can openers that we've used for years and years cuts the can here along that rim, on the inside of the rim. A safe cutter, a side cutter, a real side cutter, cuts into the seam here. Let me, sorry, you got the flash there. And then you have what you call a, what I call a fake side cutter, cuts the side of the can here. Just like so. Let me just run this through here. Let's say, now the P38 is an example of a regular can. It just latches onto the top of the lid and you open up the can. Just like so. Now I'm a little out of practice there, so I'll speed that up. So your regular top can opener makes for a lid that's very sharp and jagged edges. A lot of people a year get cut on these. But not only is this sharp and jagged, but the inside of your cut here is sharp and jagged. So that's two dangerous things. Also, as you're putting this into the can, it's pushing dirt and germs, whatever, down into your food. Now a side cutter, a real side cutter, kind of like this one, this is a good cook, having nothing to do with me, but good cook. Uh, XO, OXO makes one. The side cutter would work like this. It goes on the top of the lid, clamp it down, and then just wind it. Uh, hopefully you just go around one time and this makes a lid that comes off just like that. Now with this one you have a safe edge here, you have a safe edge here, I wouldn't do this with the other can. Also the lid now becomes a cover that fits right back over the can real nice and neat. Uh, in the old days with the soda can stoves that we made, use this cutter a lot for that. This is the one where I had to grind it away so that you could get it into a Coke can. So this is the second. This is what I call a real side cutting can opener. Now the fake side cutting can opener would be something like this. Or something like this. Side cut can opener. Now with these people, they tout about is safe. The side cutter opening action opens the cans by cutting beneath the lid, not through the top. The opening lid is smooth and dull. Ah. Let me just show you here. So I'm not taking this one out because I like to leave it in the box, but this is another side opener. And you can usually tell if it's a true side opener cutter like the other one or one like this by looking at the gap right here. If there's a large gap between the wheel that pulls the can through and your cutter, a large gap there, then it cuts below the lid. So we just put it on like so, clip it,
and there it falls off. Now the problem with this is, now this one cut pretty cool that time, but a lot of times there'll be a sharp edge on the bottom. They show you running it like this, yeah it's dull, but on a lot of the can openers it'll leave a sharp edge here. And on this one the sharp edge has been transferred to the can. You can see it's all crimped here. So again here as I'm opening this it's shoving stuff into your food. And this lid doesn't really form a good cover. You, I mean you can put it on there but it falls off. This one it sets. So when I used this fake cutter the other day for that DIY canister it was because I knew it would cut below this seam and make the can just a little bit shorter and that was why I used this rather than dragging out my Dremel and cutting it through. Now I want to make another canister that's a little bit shorter so I will have to do that but um, like I said I can't get away with anything. So that's where you have your true side cutter and a fake side cutter and your regular can opener. The side cutters, the true side cutters are a little more expensive too. Now I try to pick them up when I see them at Goodwill. If I see them at Goodwill for that price I snap them up because one like this could cost, I don't know, $18, $19 on up. So if you ever see them in a yard sale, grab them. Okay, so I hope that helps those that ask what a fake side cutter is, in my opinion. Um, it's The true side cutters are just safer and cleaner as far as I'm concerned. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.